Hi, welcome back. I'm Brandon. And I'm Jodie Lee. Thank you for joining us. Today, we'll be doing Lesson 12, Monday. Grab your lesson study books or get the app Sabbath School Quarterly for iPhone or for Android, whatever device you're using on your PC and follow along. Cool, so before we start, let's just close our eyes and pray. Dear Lord, thank you so much that we can study your lesson right now. Please will you be with us now and help us to learn what you want us to learn. Amen. Amen. All right, so if you look at the gospel, there's, there's a trend. It's all about Jesus' coming, the first coming of Christ to this earth. It's the most amazing part of the Bible. It's, the, it's what we're waiting for. The entire Old Testament, we see the world is wicked. Everything's gone messed up after Eve ate that fruit. Why did you do it, Eve? <laughs> but then everything comes right. Our Savior comes, Jesus comes to earth, born in a manger, bam, there he is. The Messiah we've been waiting for. That's the gospel, all about Jesus' first coming. We have to jump all the way over to Revelations where the focus shifts. And now it's all about Jesus' second coming. Am I right, Jody? Mm -hmm. That's correct, and it's exciting. And where can we find that? Well, we can look at Revelation 1, verse 7, just as one is one example, but there's a whole bunch of other verses. But will you read 1, verse 7 for us? Yeah, I most certainly will. Turn with us. Revelations 1, verse 7. Look, he is coming with the clouds, and every eye will see him, even those who pierced him, and all people on earth will mourn because of him. So shall it be. Amen. So the verse is basically about Jesus' second coming, which is something we can really look forward to. Um, and there's a whole bunch of other verses in the lesson study that you can go check out in Revelation, and they all pretty much speak about the same thing. Um, but we'll leave that for you to do. And then in Revelation 22, verse 7, it talks about his coming again in a beautiful way. This is actually the last chapter of the Bible. And it says, Behold, I am coming quickly. Blessed is he who keeps the word of the prophecy of the book. And then, it's not in the lesson for this week, but it's one of my favorite uh, verses. And it's actually the last verse of the Bible. So it's Revelation 22, verse 20 and it says he who testifies to these things says surely I am coming quickly amen even so come Lord Jesus and I okay it's the second last verse of the Bible 21 the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all amen um, but the second last book verse is absolutely beautiful because um, Jesus is saying he's coming back quickly and here the writer is saying like please come you know so even so come Lord Jesus and we just wanted to find out are you excited about Jesus second coming um, are you are you waiting for it eagerly um, I hope that you are because it's something hey, Jody, to look forward to. I hope it's tomorrow. <laughs> I hope so too. Um, when do you hope it is? You can let us know in the comments. Um, and if you have any questions about it, you can also let us know. Um, but basically, it's something that we can be really excited about. Um, I don't know about you, but this world's a little bit crazy, especially at the moment. And um, knowing that we have something like that to look forward to is really exciting. So I think that just about covers it. Do you have anything else? Just a quick comment before we close there. You have a lot of people tell you, don't read Revelations. You can't understand it. It's difficult. It's not. You heard it there in that verse. Blessed is he who reads this book. It's a wonderful book. I encourage you to go out, study it, take a pen and paper, get a highlighter, put lines in that Bible, use that Bible, and, and go through it and try to find Jesus. Try to pick him up on every single page, on every line, every verse. Look for Christ and you will find him and you will realize that it's not as hard as you once thought. That's if you thought it's hard. If you don't, well done. <laughs> okay, cool. So that is Monday. Join us again tomorrow. Bye. Awesome. Shall we pray? Oh, yes, we should always do that. Okay, close your Are eyes. Are we taking off our glasses? Yeah, it's a That's weird a thing, thing Brandon does. <laughs> and I join him. Close your eyes. Dear Jesus, thank you so much that we could learn a bit about um, your, your gospel um, and about the whole book is about you coming, whether it's your first coming throughout uh, the Old Testament and also into the New Testament. And you're talking about your second coming, which we know is also in the Old Testament, but Revelation speaks about it so often, Lord. Please will you open our eyes to what you have to teach us and um, help us to apply it in this week. Amen. Amen.